Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay. Uh, why are we here? Why are we here? I'm here to reintroduce myself. And who are you reintroducing yourself as? I am reintroducing myself as Tommy Dorfman. My pronouns are she, her. I'm still an actor, still a writer, <laughs> still a creative, still a storyteller. And I'm also a woman, a trans woman. You know, some people moved houses during the pandemic, some people changed gender. <laughs> so, um, for many years, I wanted to start transitioning and I just couldn't, and it felt um, really daunting and really scary to embark on that journey, especially because I'm at the beginning of my career. And what does it mean even for me to come from where I am and the fears that I'm feeling? Um, to find compassion and empathy towards my trans brothers and sisters who are more disenfranchised than myself, right? And so I think for me, it, it really took everything going away. Me alone in my bed, trying to imagine what my life at 60 would look like. And all I could see was a woman. My dad always asked me, like, what your why is, like, why do you do what you do? And when life feels really complicated and really hard and I feel really depressed and I don't want to leave my bedroom, I really do think about, <laughs> like, the children. <laughs> I do, though. I mean, I think trans and queer people and, and everybody who's maybe differently abled in some way, uh, if you're choosing to live in more public space, you feel this inherent responsibility. Um, and I'm really cautious. I don't, I don't feel prepared enough, qualified enough, uh, remotely experienced enough to speak for the community as a whole, which is why I try to keep as much of what I say personalized to me and my experience. Maybe if I had done this like five years ago, I'd feel very soapboxy about it and I'd want to like scream it from the rooftops, but it's just not where I'm at today. And I think there's something really powerful in choosing the moments to speak as authentically as possible. I, I feel like I haven't scratched the surface with my career or work, because everything I've done up until the end of last year has been in the wrong body <laughs> and not in my truth. And so much of my work as an actor was like hiding this part of myself and then bringing life to character. And so I think I'm just excited to play women. <laughs> trans women, cis women, women in general, non-binary femme presenting people. And it's funny because I, <laughs> like I loved acting, but then I would hate going to work. It always felt really uncomfortable to me. Um, and now I know why. <laughs> and now I know why. I mean, I've always felt incredibly feminine, whatever that means on the inside. And so I don't feel like, if anything, it's an amplification of who I am. I don't feel this need to kill my old self and, you know, bring this sort of like phoenix rising from the ashes. It's just not my experience right now. I'm not a different person. I'm not even, I don't even have a different name, right? I think like I love my name and I, I want to keep my name and um, give new life to my name. Right? So I'm really proud of the person that I was too. I think that's important to acknowledge. I'm proud of who I've been for the last however many years. Um, this is just a magnifying glass on Tommy, I guess, and who I am today.